recognize some remarkable people and organizations celebrating their passion for strengthening community, thereby improving the lives of children and families. You've all helped me to take on this role with a bunch of confidence because through the years and the leadership that I've seen here, it's really been incredible. The mentoring of the board members and the tools that we have. Do what you can to show you care about other people and you'll make our world a better place. Brian, your commitment inspired us all and I want to uh, offer to you some gifts to remember us by. Uh, as a parent to witness my boys thrive in child care, sports camps, and the summer camp. As an educational leader, I've appreciated many of the wise youth initiatives, like the Adventures in Respect that Jay had mentioned, is so powerful and impactful for our students and our staff. The Y has truly been a mutual partnership for us. And uh, it hinges around a saying that we like to kick around at New England Chapel. And that is, uh, the hardest, hardest part of love is showing up. The hardest part of love is showing up. And the why shows up in people's lives, in families' lives, in the community's lives. I'd also like to um, thank the leadership of the YMCA here because they're, they're such great partners. So I'd say to anybody that's got any kind of ideas and willingness and opportunity to support uh, through philanthropy or other efforts, uh, programs in our community, I would say consider the why, right? Start at the why and let's see what the YMCA can do with some of these ideas to bring them to life because it's, um, it's really fantastic what can happen. The why brought me into my shell, pushed me to do my best, and helped me realize my true potential. By meeting new people and trying new things, I became more involved. And at the beginning of my freshman year of high school, I joined the Leaders Club. There are so many ways to get involved and to help others. I truly believe the one is a great way that you get a head start because it set me up for the next chapter of my life. Even as a child, uh, before I started doing community work for the theater group, um, it really impacted my development and growth. You have to actually spend either a few weeks during the summer camp or throughout the productions that go on in the year and actually show that you can put your uh, foot forward and do the work that needs to be done without being told to do so. Just getting that instinct in me is something that I'm so glad that the YMCA has been able to instill in me, and I wouldn't be the same person without it. At the same time, I've also been able to um, see a community that I love grow and develop, uh, be myself able to grow alongside it and be able to add towards it. Because of my involvement that year in the program, I didn't just change who I am, but decided to be a change, to be more involved in my school, my community, that helping others was truly my calling. This summer will be my third year in the program, and also the third year of the program. I have seen it grow, and I grew with it. It has helped so many families and kids, and has truly been a huge impact in my community. The YMCA has allowed me to work with people from all walks of life, whether it be working at the front desk, helping instructors with mini camps, or volunteering one-on-one -on -one with children with disabilities. Volunteering at the YMCA has taught me never to take for granted the joy and happiness provided by a small district of kindness. A big thing that our event does as well is enlightens the community on these nonprofits. So we've had people come up and haven't known about Live Strong and what the Y does, so that's been um, also equally rewarding. 33 years, I mean, we like that, and I started thinking about all the changes that have occurred over 33 years that I've been on board. Uh, all good changes, and tremendous, tremendous growth. You can measure that growth in many, many ways, with uh, revenue, with programming, with outreach, community partnering, and I can't think of a better way to make an impact on our communities than by serving as a member of the board of directors. They're outstanding people from all walks of life. Uh, they bring a lot of talent into the boardroom. They're there because they genuinely care about making an impact on the community. Well, one constant that 
<coughs> has been there for 33 years and is the reason for that tremendous growth, growth is the staff. We were blessed to have outstanding staff 33 years ago, and we're blessed to have outstanding staff today. For me personally, thank you for 33 years of dedicated, compassionate service with a great deal of empathy. I'm going to ask you all to remember something that we all hold very dear at our YMCA, and it's been mentioned several times tonight, and that's that the YMCA experience and programs and services that we offer are available to all, regardless of, abil of ability to pay. Calvin Coolidge, going way back, our 39th president and from Massachusetts, once said, no person was ever honored for what they received. Honor has been the reward for what they gave. Well, what all of you give is the reason that we can proudly say that the Hockamock Area YMCA is a place where cause meets community every day. We honor all of you tonight. And I want to thank all of you for what you give to our YMCA and those who serve.